The frog is the most common and populous of the three major orders of amphibians, and the only one that lacks a tail. The first true frogs evolved in the early Jurassic period some 200 million years ago. Since then, they have spread out and diversified to almost every single major ecosystem on the planet. Because frogs are so important for the environment, the recent trend toward declining populations and malformations in their anatomy are worrying signs for the entire planetary ecosystem. These animals are characterized by a kind of hunched body, webbed toes, big, bulging eyes, and moist skin. The enormously long legs enable some of them to leap great distances, 20 times or more of their body length. Most frogs also have a big visible eardrum on their heads called a tympanum that transmits sound waves to the protected inner ear. These common traits should not obscure a great deal of diversity in this family. There are many unique adaptations that help the animal survive in the wild. The glass frog has translucent skin through which you can see its organs to blend in with the environment. The tree frogs have discs on the fingers and toes that enable them to climb up surfaces. The flying frog can glide some 40 to 50 feet from the trees to the ground with the expanded webbing between its toes and fingers. Burrowing frogs often have claws or spade-like structures on their back feet that enable them to dig through the dirt. The leopard frogs have spotted patterns like the big cat for which it's named. The largest species in the world, the goliath frog, grows up to a foot long and weighs around 7 pounds. The smallest species in the world, the Cuban Monte Iberia Aleuth, is only about 0.4 inches long. But between these two extremes, most of them measure no more than a few inches in size. Like most land animals, an adult has a set of lungs to breathe. The only real exception is one species in Indonesia that has no lungs, and draws oxygen down through its airway passages. But the animal also has porous skin through which it can absorb gases and water directly. This means it can literally breathe through its skin. But this also makes the skin very sensitive to dangerous chemicals and pollutions that seep into the environment. From a taxonomical perspective, both toads and frogs belong to the same classification, but there are several anatomical differences that distinguish a toad from other frog species. The main differences are that toads have warty skin, shorter legs, and a broader snout. Their skin can tolerate drier conditions, which means they are capable of living farther from any sources of water. These animals, as a rule, do not have any real social organizations or hierarchies. With few exceptions, these animals mostly hunt and sleep on their own. When they do come together in the breeding season, a group of frogs is called an army. The mating call is the only real means of communication. Each call is loud, conspicuous, and largely unique to the species. Males only make this sound out of necessity, because it has the tendency to attract predators as well. As a cold-blooded amphibian, the animal cannot maintain its own internal body temperature. Instead, it needs to constantly change its behavior in response to daily or seasonal fluctuations in the temperature, moving into the sun or shade as necessary. In northern climates, most species hibernate for the winter by hiding out somewhere and slowing down their metabolisms. The North American wood frog has actually evolved the ability to survive becoming frozen. As its body begins to shut down, the water in the frog cells is replaced with glucose and urea to prevent the body tissue from degrading. When the weather warms once again, the metabolism picks up as normal. Because they're so small and vulnerable, these animals have evolved a variety of different defenses to survive. Camouflage is the most common and evolutionary inexpensive defensive mechanism, hence why most species are green or brown in color. A few species like the edible frogs actually have the ability to blend in with the background. The long legs and leaping ability also help many get away from predators. For some species of frogs, poison is its most potent weapon. There are about 170 different species of poison dart frogs, most of which reside in tropical ecosystems. They exhibit bright and garish colors to warn predators that the frog has evolved some of the most potent poisons on the planet. A single gram of toxin from the golden poison dart frog can kill up to 100,000 people. Some species are not toxic but have evolved bright colors to fool predators into believing it's poisonous. These animals can be found in almost every single continent and region of the planet outside of Antarctica. 
The greatest diversity of species occurs in the tropics, while many more can be found in temperate regions. Most species tend to live on the ground near the source of freshwater, though a few species can live in brackish, slight salty water. Some can also burrow underground or inhabit trees. When out hunting, an adult usually lies in wait for prey, though some engage in deliberate pursuit. The frog's long tongue and night vision are its greatest assets. While the teeth on the upper jaw hold the prey temporarily in place, the frog pushes its eyeballs on top of the mouth to force food down the throat. The frog's diet changes drastically between the tadpole phase and the adult phase. After first hatching, most tadpoles tend to eat plankton and other tiny organic matter, though a few species are carnivorous hunters that consume insects, fish, and other tadpoles, even if it means cannibalizing members of their own species. As it undergoes a massive transformation between the tadpole and adult phases, the diet also transitions to an exclusively carnivorous diet consisting of insects, arthropods, or worms. The largest species, such as the Africa bullfrog, also consume rodents, reptiles, and other frogs.